Started for months, the team will eventually be playing its MLS games in the West End. Tonight, the team delivered on one of its financial promises. Here's Brad Underwood. As the Lowell Senators warm up at Laurel Playground, brand new, top of the line gear is arriving. Uh, it makes me feel good because you're getting new equipment. Um, it just. Yeah, it just makes me feel good. New helmets and practice jerseys are here today. Football pads will be arriving soon. Uh, this commitment is about safe equipment for the West End Little Senators, uh, making sure that they are covered and protected from head to toe. This is just the beginning of a 30-year promise from FC Cincinnati. When the West End became the place of choice for a MLS stadium, it came with an agreement to pump money into youth organizations in the West End like the Lowell Senators. I have on sunglasses to keep showing you the tears I have in my eyes, man. This has been a long time coming. Jeff kept his promise, and I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words, actually. Coach and CEO of the football organization, Nick Johnson, says the current gear is 15 years old. We had equipment that the manufacturers are no longer in business, so therefore there are no warranties, and we had a lot of that, and we were just waiting for God to, to bless us and he sent FC our way. And how does this make you feel? Good and thankful that we got new helmets. Thankful and excited too. In the West End, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Good stuff. FC Cincinnati has said that it could begin building the new Stargill Stadium by the end of next month and possibly break ground on the new MLS Stadium by the end of the year.